สวัสดีค่ะสุขสันสบัตเตค่ะ That means Happy Sabbath from Thailand. I have a very special children's story for you today. But just like when we go on a journey, we're going on a journey through the life of Jesus. We need a map. Let me go get our map that we need to follow as we travel through our journey today. I brought up the map. This is a map of the tabernacle. Now, if we think about it, if we look on the map of ancient Israel, Jesus has traveled many places. He was born in Bethlehem, and he escaped to Egypt with his family. He also traveled to Jerusalem, and his hometown was Nazareth. And Jesus walked many places around that area too. But where is Jesus now? You know, God gave us a map in the book of Exodus, Numbers, and even Deuteronomy. We can also see this map in Daniel. We can see this map in the book of Revelation too. So I've drawn it for us, and it has three different rooms. Let's take a look at them. The first one is the courtyard. In the courtyard, we have. An altar of burnt offering, and a lamb was sacrificed on the altar, just like Jesus died for you and me on the cross. Beside it, we also have a laver, which is full of water, where they would wash their hands. Now, that also represents baptism, where we are washed clean and our hearts are made pure because we accept Jesus. So the next room that we get to go to is called the holy place. Now, if we think about it, where is the most holy place in the whole universe? That has to be heaven. So perhaps, and the Bible says it's true, when Jesus died on the cross, where is the next place he would go if he follows the map? He would go to heaven, where he would continue the work in the holy place. We see here a table of showbread, where there would be fresh bread, and that sort of represents the Bible. The Bible has fresh promises for me and you. We should read it every day. Also, there's an altar of incense, which would burn every single day and night, and the smoke that ascends would go into the next room. That represents our prayers. Remember the song: Read your Bible and pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. But one more thing we have to do: there is a lampstand. The lampstand was burning all the time. And what does the song say? This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine until Jesus comes. So that's where Jesus was. But on a special day, October 22, 1844. Jesus, he moved into another room. Let's follow our map from the courtyard to the holy place, and lastly to the most holy place. That's where Jesus is. Now, what's in the most holy place? A very special golden ark of the covenant, and inside are the Ten Commandments. Jesus is there now, standing before. The Ark of the Covenant, and on the lid they called out the Mercy Seat, just like the throne of God. When we pray, our prayers ascend. The smoke goes into the most holy place, and Jesus is talking with His Father to make sure our prayers are answered according to His will. Now here we know for sure, and we can trust that. Jesus will hear our prayer, and that God will answer it. So here we see a map. Now, is there an exit from the back? I don't think so. The only way to to get out of this room is to turn around. So, what do you think the next plan is for Jesus? He must turn around and come out of heaven, come back to earth, and that's the second coming. I hope we will be ready. May we be eating the bread. May we be reading our Bible every day. May we be having the smoke ascend to heaven. May we be praying every day. 
And may we have our light burning because Jesus will come through soon and he will come and take us home. See you there in heaven. Let's be ready to meet Jesus.